లెఫ్ట్ సైడ్ ఉన్నటువంటి సబ్స్క్రైబ్ బటన్ను క్లిక్ చేయడం ద్వారా మరియు పక్కనే వచ్చినటువంటి గంట సింబల్ని ప్రెస్ చేయడం ద్వారా మీరు మన ఛానల్లో పెట్టినటువంటి మంచి సైన్స్ వీడియోస్ని మీ మొబైల్ నోటిఫికేషన్ ద్వారా చూడడానికి అవకాశం ఉంటుంది వెల్కమ్ టు టెక్నో సైన్స్ క్లబ్ ఈరోజు మనం నేర్చుకోబోయేటటువంటి ఆసక్తికరమైనటువంటి అంశం డిస్కషన్ అండ్ అబౌట్ సంథింగ్ అబౌట్ ప్రిజమ్ అండ్ ద రిఫ్రాక్టివ్ ఇండెక్స్ ఆఫ్ గ్లాస్ ప్రిజమ్ అనేటటువంటి టాపిక్ గురించి ఈరోజు మనం నేర్చుకుందాం వెల్కమ్ టు టెక్నో సైన్స్ క్లబ్ మీరు చూస్తున్నారు టెక్నో సైన్స్ క్లబ్ థ్యాంక్ యూ డిస్పేషన్ 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 ఆఫ్ లైట్ డిస్పేషన్ మీన్స్ అపాన్ పాసింగ్ త్రూ ద ప్రిజన్ ద వైట్ లైట్ ఈజ్ అ సెపరేటెడ్ ఇన్ టు ఇట్స్ కాంపోనెంట్ కలర్స్ దట్ ఆర్ రెడ్ ఆరెంజ్ ఎల్లో గ్రీన్ బ్లూ అండ్ వైలెట్ విత్ యువర్ కలర్స్ ద సెపరేషన్ ఆఫ్ ద విజువల్ లైట్ the separation of a visible light into its different colors is known as dispersion of light let's see the dispersion of light in the figure a white light ray is separated into seven colors let's see this white light ray is separated into seven colors this phenomena is called dispersion of light next let's uh, learn about something about a uh, prism 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 is a transparent medium separated from the surrounding medium by at least two plane surfaces that is one is incident plane and another one is emergent plane and a triangular glass prism contains two triangular bases and three rectangular plane lateral surfaces this is called a triangular prism this triangular prism is used for the dispersion of light into seven colors in this figure you can observe the a white light is a uh, incidenting on a prism and uh, splits and dispersed into seven colors that are red orange yellow green blue indigo and violet this is the dispersion of light on prism next uh, let's know about something about a uh, prism let us assume that a light ray is incidenting on a plane surface of a prism pq at a point m that ray is called incidenting ray a ray incidenting on pq that ray is called incidenting ray and draw a perpendicular to the surface uh, pq at m it's become the normal of the surface the angle between the inclined the angle between the incidenting ray and the normal is called angle of incidence this angle is called angle of incidence the angle between the normal and incidencing incident ray is called incident angle i1 incidenting angle this angle is called incidenting angle on the angle of a prism at p the angle between the surfaces pq and pr is called angle of prism a 
A is the angle of prism. This angle of prism is equal to the 60 degrees. The angle between the plane surfaces PQ and RS is called angle of prism or the refracting angle of prism. That is uh, equal to the 60, 60 degrees because uh, the prism has uh, equilateral triangular surfaces. Next, the ray refracted at M, M uh, the incidenting ray is falling on M, then that ray is refracted at M and it moves through the prism and meet the plane surface at M. Let's see this. Meet the plane surface at M, at N, and uh, finally comes out uh, into the prism that ray which comes out of the surface PR at the point M is called emergent ray. The ray falling on the surface PQ is called incidenting ray and that ray is uh, passing through the prism and refracted through the and refracted and passing through the prism and coming out uh, from the surface PR at the point M, that coming out ray is called emergent ray. At that point M on PR surface, draw a perpendicular that is called a normal, and the angle between the normal angle between the normal and the emergent ray is called a angle of emergence angle of emergence the angle between the incident ray and the emergent ray is called angle of deviation uh, let's uh, prolong the incidenting ray in front and prolong the refracted ray that is angle sorry emergent ray is also prolonged to back side then these two rays are meeting at a point at this point at this point the angle between the incident ray and the emergent ray is called angle of deviation d angle of deviation the angle between the incident ray and the emergent ray is called angle of deviation. Next, refractive index of prism. Let's do an activity to prove that refractive index of prism. The aim for this activity is finding the refractive index of a prism. The materials required for this activity is a prism and a piece of white chart, pencil, pen, scale, and a protractor. These are the items required to do the activity. Let's do the activity. First, take a rectangle, uh, triangular prism and place it on a white cardboard sheet and draw a line around the prism that is the border of the prism uh, with the using uh, pencil name its vertices as a pqr let's note that for many prisms the triangle formed is equilateral triangle the triangular basis which is the which has the prism has the triangular base the triangle is a equilateral triangle for, for the most of prisms Find the angle between the, after drawing the, with pencil, the border of the prism, uh, take out the prism and uh, find out the vertices, that is P, Q, R, and the angle between the P, Q and the P, R, that is the angle of prism, angle of prism. Mark M on a side of triangle PQ 
and also draw a perpendicular to PQ at M. Place the center of the, the protractor at M along the normal and make an angle 30 degrees and draw a line up to M. This line denotes incident ray. This angle between the normal and the incident ray is called uh, angle of incidence I1 is equal to 30 degrees angle of incidence I1 angle of incidence I1 is equal to 30 degrees angle of incidence is equal to 30 degrees Place the prism in its points in its position. Again, now there are fixed two pins vertically on the line at a point A and B. A and B. Let's put a pins vertically on a line. The look for the image of the pins through the prism from the other side of the prism that is a PR and fix another two pins at point C and point D such as the four pins A, B, C, D appear to be lie along the same straight line these four pins A, B, C, D should be along the same plane, same line. Do it carefully. Then, now remove the prism and take out pins. Draw a line joining the two pin holes formed by the pins to meet the surface P or this is an emergent ray which emerges from the surface PR at a point N. This is called emergent ray. The angle between the emergent ray at N and the emergent ray, the normal drawn at N and the emergent ray, the angle between the normal and the emergent ray is called angle of emergence I2. Now join the two points M, N by the strike line. The line passing through the points, look at carefully, the line passing through the points from starting A, B, M, M, C, D or represents the path of light when its surface refraction when its surface refraction through the prism. Okay, prism gunda, a light ray falls on a prism and passes through the prism and uh, emergence from the prism the total path of the light is a b m n c d is the total path of the light the refractive index of prism then extended the both incidenting ray and emergenting emergent ray both incident and emergent rays till they meet at a point o Measure the angle between these two rays. Backside. This is the angle of deviation. It is denoted by the letter D. This is the angle of deviation. Emergent ray and the incident rays are uh, extended backside these two rays are uh, meet at a point D that D is called uh, angle of deviation 
so in this experiment we learn we measure that we know the angle of incidence i is equal to 30 degrees then we got the angle of uh, emergence i2 it is also equal to 30 degrees approximately and we measure the angle between the incident ray and the emergent ray that is the angle of deviation d note down and we know the angle of prism a is equal to 60 degrees note down these are all angle values of the all angle in a tabular form and i1 incident angle i2 refracted angle angle of deviation and uh, angle of the prism note down these are all values of the angles in a table of form then we got the refractive index of the prism let table at this then we get uh, by tabulating these values we get the refractive index of the prism thank you thank you for watching if you like the video please like and share to your friends through social media and subscribe our channel for interesting science videos thank you thank you for watching jai hind